Hello, my friends, and welcome to the 10 Minute Book Talk. I'm author Rachel Linden, and I'm joined by my other best selling authors, Marie Bostwick and Catherine Ray. And today we have a super fun treat for you. We are here with our dear friend and fellow author, Melissa Ferguson. And we are going to talk to her about not one of her books, and not two of her books, but three of her books, because she's a prolific author. And maybe and, her baby. <laughs> and her baby, and her incredibly cute baby. I think this is the first time on the 10 Minute Book Talk we have been joined by a baby. And it's one of the cutest babies on the planet. So mascot baby. mascot baby, author mascot baby. So we're going to talk to Melissa first about her new release on the way to Christmas. It's a compilation of three novels, uh, three short stories and uh, Christmas themed. And so we are going to talk about that first and then we'll talk about some other fun stuff. And Melissa, do you have a copy of the book there so people can see your adorable cover? Yep. Of on the hey, way to Christmas. Hold that up. Oh my on gosh. The way to it's by Sheila Roberts and Amy Clipston and Melissa Ferguson. Great. And you know what? I love these little short novellas for Christmas because like when the holidays are super busy, you want a little jolt of Christmas joy. And this is a way you can do it and still get the wrapping and shopping and cooking done. So that is awesome. But this story, what a fun idea. It's set on a Christmas train. So I, I just love that concept. Can you tell us a little bit more, you know, about that? Tell us more about yeah. your book. Well, we have a Christmas train called the Polar Express a couple hours from here. And I begged every member of my family, like extended family, like sisters-in-laws um, and husbands to go for like seven years. And none of them are excited to go ever. Nobody ever wants to go. They all think it's far you. and hard and, and it's always sold out. And so I was like, fine, you know what? I'm going to write a book about it. I'm going to experience it in a book and that'll show you all. Um, but it's, so it's basically, it's basically as much Christmas as you can possibly handle in a book. Like, I don't know if you've read Jenny Bayless's 12 Dates of Christmas. Mm. Basically she does like a new nostalgically themed date for every scene. And I was like, like my editor was like, Melissa, you could, you could not have packed more Christmas into this <laughs> book like, ever. And it's because I've been begging, I'd also been begging my editors for years to do a Christmas story because Christmas is my favorite. Like I literally play Christmas music year round at our house. And um, my children sing God Rest You Merry Gentlemen like in June. And, um, but I, so I was like begging, begging, begging. And finally my editor was like, okay, here you go. And I just like went with it. So it's about a train ride. It's like a two week train ride across the country. Um, that's like as Christmassy human Christmas as possible. And, um, and they stop off at all these different towns every night and they do Christmas related, like, you know, ice skating at a national park and, you know, like the most <laughs> nostalgic Christmas things you can do for two weeks and inside it's super super Christmassy too and basically it's also known as like the most romantic getaway and she had gotten these like exclusive tickets with her longtime boyfriend of like seven years and it was also her way home so her her home was in Seattle because of you Rachel oh and, thank um, you <laughs> and um and she had to go there and then um her boyfriend broke up with her like two days prior. She what didn't have a lot of extra funds like at all. It was no refund ticket. So she goes on there by herself and then, and then like rom com -y things ensue. What's not to love about that concept? A single woman going across the country on a Christmas train and there's an elf and a conductor and like. Well, uh, yes. And a Santa Clausy character. He, who's like a father figure too. I just, I had so much fun with this. Like. Oh, so fun. Anyways, Melissa, we will all come do the polar train with you. I was about to say, oh, I think that's amazing. Polar train. I, well, I put my foot down and I was like, we are doing it this year, period. And I signed up. We got matching pajamas already. I informed my husband. I gave it to him. I was like, here you go. Huh? Your pajamas, you will be wearing it on this train. We are going to have fun. Follow la. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to the Biltmore the next day in Asheville and oh, seeing all the Christmas trees. Are you so, wearing your pajamas to the Biltmore as well? You know, who knows? We'll play by ear. Uh, we'll look forward okay. to seeing all the photos on Instagram. 
you shared a little about the inspiration for the story, but I want to know, because you love Christmas, are there any other of your family Christmas traditions or things you love that you've placed within the story? Sort of like oh, the, within the story of your life. Um, you know, ornaments of your life. <laughs> or did you just pack oh. it full of Christmas? Like all Christmas? I mean, it was so much Christmas. I'm trying to think if there are specifics. Um you know, I don't know. They made snowflakes at one point. We like making snowflakes. Nice. They did the baked cookies. You have to do the baked cookie. Shoot, we literally did gingerbread cookies and decorated Christmas trees two days ago. Like this is how Christmas crazy I am. So um that's hard yeah. work. Not even in November. No, we're not. Well done. Okay. <laughs> that's I awesome. Think you. All right. So everybody, if you're looking for a fun, light, exciting, happy rom-com Christmas read, go out and get uh, the, oh, now I'm thinking the Christmas is just on the way to Christmas with the Christmas Express in it. And you can have it packed full of Christmas in three delightful stories. Which is actually not called the Christmas Express. It's called Dashing. My, my one is called Dashing Through the Snow. Oh, I put the title wrong. That's my bad. Sorry, guys. It's called Dashing Through the Snow and it is about the Christmas Express. Yeah. Oh. Which I personally have dated, called it the Christmas Express. So I'm with you there. <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right. We also want to talk about your newest single release, Meet Me in the Margins. Can you hold that one up? Indeed. There it is. Oh, that cheerful, delightful cover. So I this love that cover. Like hotcakes. I got a chance to read the arc. Melissa let me read it. And I just thought it was delightful and fun. I love Melissa's rom-coms. They're clean. They're hilarious. Mm -hmm. They're clever. She always has the most interesting just plot. She'll be like, I'm thinking about this. I'm like, oh, I would totally read that book. So I'm sort of like her target reader. Um, so oh, I wow. loved it and tons of other readers are loving it. And it's set in a publishing house. It is a publishing house editor romance with a secret turret room and um, a manuscript that mysteriously keeps getting edited and romance blossoms. Did I sort of sum it up correctly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing um, more to so what has been the most surprising thing for you in the aftermath of Meet Me in the Margins about this book? Uh, I mean, honestly, the selling probably it blows my mind that it's um, selling even just yesterday. Uh, I mean, my I got like three emails yesterday from my publishing team and they said one said Walmart just picked it up for a selection. And I'm like, it's been out a year like. Wow. For Walmart to pick it up after it's been out like eight or nine months, which is really surprising to me. Mm -hmm. um, and then Audible just picked it for next month for like the whole month as like a something they're doing some sort of sale. And then that, yeah, that's it for that one. But I was like, man, that's wild. So that's awesome. I think it was surprisingly good timing with a uh, book about books like Emily Henry's coming out so that was, um, it was it's like I accidentally rode on the coattails and just got to take a little ride that is the best when you're accidentally hit that lovely trend and people are like oh this sounds yeah, awesome. the trend I didn't know was a trend but if it's not a really good book Melissa the trend doesn't matter so good that's so YouTube. true you that's, got a really good book there. That's, that's it true. that is encouraging Marie <laughs> true it's yeah. absolutely true and wow. so what is next for you? Yeah. Uh, so Famous for a Living is coming out in May. And I love the cover um, of that, by the way. Love oh, the I love the cover. It's it my is, favorite cover. Oh, it's adorable. Yeah, yeah. it's you, adorable. You know what I said? Okay, on the way to Christmas, I messaged my editor and I was like, so it looks like there's a serial killer house in here. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's like, it's either cozy or totally terrifying. What do you think? Can we make it less scary? And she's like, yeah, we'll bedazzle it up. <laughs> I think they added like lights and made it cuter. And I was like, still a little creepy, just throwing out there. But overall, yes, I love the cover now. But yes, Famous for a Living is my absolute favorite cover. Um, yeah. And that's, and I really, really, really enjoyed that story. And, um, that actually was, oh my gosh, I'm trying to think. Cause now I'm writing my new book. Um, gosh, don't you go through that where you're like, okay, what is that book about? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That was really fun. Cause I was personally dealing with the chaos of, um, like I'm at, uh, over 500,000 followers now, which happened in a hurry. And with the joys of that also came a lot of, um, 
like there's a lot of surprising problems that come with that and like crazy dms or cyber bullying or just just dealing with even the cycle the addiction factor i mean your phone is always there and you feel like you're never done like the second you post something you feel like you got to stay on there and i think i think also social media tricks you to make you feel like you have to do that or you're going to get behind um and so I've started dealing with like brand deals and, and all those things and some of the great things and some of the really weird, hard things. Mm -hmm. And I've also spoken with other uh, influencers at this point and learned a little bit about like, oh, the reality behind. And I was like, you know, it'd be really interesting to write a story about basically like sh this girl who has millions of followers, but she's also aging and dealing with she her her platform was this young thing at 15 you know be bopping to bubblegum and here she is approaching 30 and she has this app deal go wrong all of a sudden she's shunned and loses literally everything but she has no ability to do anything so what does she do she ends up at a national park at glacier national park basically well well uh the competition for glacier national park there's a rivalry um and woo! Pop my baby. <laughs> Good job. Well, that sounds absolutely delightful. And we will look forward. That comes out in May. Is that correct? Uh, yes. So that comes out in May. So, oh my anyway. goodness. All right. Well, fans of yours will eagerly await that one. And we have just one final question for you. And that is the question we ask all of our authors. And that is what is bringing you joy today? Okay. I don't know if this counts. It all counts. If it's bringing you joy, it counts. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see tonight. It was tedious, but I made my first sourdough loaf of bread. Like, you know, those cute pictures you see all the time while well, my family's gotten into it. Uh, oh my goodness, it takes a long time. Yeah. But I just pulled it on the oven and it worked and I was like, okay, all right. Whew. So we're gonna be having that soon. Well, that is exciting. Okay. Bringing you joy, fresh baked bread. That was a success. Melissa, yeah. the baby you. is bringing me joy. The baby, yeah, me too. Oh, baby, gosh. baby yeah. joy. Well, we are cheering you on. We are excited for success, and we hope that everybody runs out and grabs on the way to Christmas. Meet me in the margins, and then we'll be eagerly awaiting Famous for a Living in May. And we'll yeah. talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching the 10 Minute Book Talk. Tune in next week for more bookish fun, and we will see you later. Thank you.